Well, hi again, folks. Me again. <laughs> Hoping everybody's having a good day, enjoying life, living life, loving life. Hey, I just got done doing a video. And I was going to talk about my day and competency. Well, I got my day taken care of and figured, well, I'm done with it. So here I am. How incompetent of me. I forgot to talk about competency. So here we are. I don't want to talk to everybody. And I really want you guys to hit that share button on this because this is important. I want it to go viral because this is what the courts use against us and throughout our entire life is that the minor is incompetent and therefore can't contract. So I want to point something out to everybody. There's a neat, nifty little catch-22. When it comes to that judge, that funny-looking clown in that black robe, looking upon somebody and questioning whether they're competent. <clears throat> because if it's me and they ever want to question my competency, and granted, I come from a broken home. I went through a lot of counseling when I was a kid. I was in foster homes. I went through adoption, went through further, further counseling. Became a criminal in my young adult life, so I had further counseling. Oh my God, they assessed me as a drug user, so I had some more counseling. So I've had plenty of counseling, and not once throughout all the entire counseling has every, anybody determined that I've been insane, crazy, lunatic, homophobic, Cryophobic, whatever kind of thing you want. Nobody's ever classified me anything but competent. They've even determined some kind of IQ level as well. Does any of that matter to me? No. Because if they try any competency question to me, I'm not going to subject myself to their competency test. They can put me in front of the doctor and I'm going to ask the doctor some questions. He's still not going to get a competency test from me. But I'm going to ask him. Doc. Do you suppose if they're operating a civil venue, which is a commercial contract venue, saying that they're charging me with an offense, within a contract, that they are claiming that I was competent at the time to enter into. And now they're claiming I was incompetent. Or that's their presumption based upon the, quote, evidence they see before the court in said frivolous filings. Refusing to take on an attorney. Believing he can represent himself. And therefore we question his competency. Let's think about this, Doc. Do you suppose if you come back with a finding that I'm incompetent, are they now going to send me back to you and have you try to determine that in the past, at the time the contract was supposedly signed, that I was competent or incompetent at that time? Do you suppose at that point in time they will need to bring forth to the record this supposed contract that has my wet ink signature on it with this other fucker's wet ink signature? Excuse my fucking language, but we're talking about my competency here. When would I be deemed incompetent? Now, if I'm deemed incompetent in a civil venue, that certainly means I can no longer be involved in any contract, 
including any current supposed, presumed, assumed, implied contract. Do you suppose that if they deem, that if you deem me competent, Doc, that if I go back into that court, they'll accept my competency in being able to accept the status and capacity of the superior entitlement holder of the high seat of the office of executive of any ens legis in my name. Where do you suppose the competency uh, catch-22 ends up then? He wants to prove that I'm incompetent. The doctor is just made null and void because it doesn't matter whether he wants to deem me incompetent or competent. If he deems me incompetent, it proves that their civil venue can no longer hold me competent to their fucking contracts. Huh? I don't understand what you're talking about, Keith. Maybe that's because you're incompetent. That's why I say you guys got to understand it's a process. They're trying to get you to prove yourself guilty. Don't make your make stupid statements. Ask people questions. I've been doing it all day. Been doing it all day. And yeah, people have gotten some funny looks from me. And yeah, people have gotten tired of me real quick. And yeah, people have screamed for security. But you know what? <laughs> And I didn't even have to do any videotaping myself. I've been on camera all fucking day. Anything they say, said or did can and will be used against him in a court of law. They're already on camera. They want to act stupid on camera? Let them. But don't act stupid on camera with them by making stupid statements. Ask them serious questions. Doc, do you suppose if you find any way in any kind of test to determine whether I am competent or incompetent, that in fact the Catch-22 in their civil venue does not exist? Does that not alone prove my competency? That I can see the Catch-22 that they're trying to pull against me? If I'm deemed incompetent, then the contract is, vo is void. They can no longer hold it against me. Not only that, if it is a true and valid contract, under contract terms and conditions, UCC 3-402- uh, subset B, subset uh, II, the authorized representative giving an unambiguous authorized signature on the instrument is not liable for the person named in the instrument. How can you possibly hold me liable whether you deem me competent or, or incompetent? You've already said I'm not liable, so who is? Why are we questioning my competency? Why are we not questioning the competency of the one that isn't stepping forward and accepting the liability? That's who I question. So you people, if you're still watching my page, you public servants, you public servants, you public servants, people in government servitude that can't understand normal thinking, you pig's cunt, pay attention to what I'm saying. Don't ever question my 
competency because I question it myself. Let's get a dictionary out. Let's get a lot of dictionaries out because we got to come to a one-to-one -one communication. The first element of any contract is that both or all parties involved must be competent. If at any time they're proven not to be competent, they can no longer be involved for that incompetency and no longer can suffer detriment because they're no longer benefiting. Cease and desist. Hope you guys are paying attention. Because like I said, I question my own competency. I want to know what my morals are at all times. Because if I go astray, I'm, I'm obviously being deceived. Why is not somebody else standing up and pointing it out to me? Am I the only one looking? In this town it seems like it. Everywhere I've gone today. So anyway, check out my the video I just got done. This is the second part of it. Sorry, I apologize. I split it up into two. I meant to do it all at once. In the meantime, remember folks, if it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't be doing this. Please hit that PayPal button. I could use your help. Share, share some love. Share the video. Share my links. I'll be posting all that, adding that to the video as soon as I get done here. Remember, I love you. God bless. Have a great night.